Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to make a really delicious pasta salad. So hopefully you stay tuned. So welcome back. So let's talk about the ingredients we're going to need to make our delicious pasta salad. First of all, you're going to need three fourths of a box of rotini or spiral noodles. You'll need two cans of Star Kiss Chunk White Albacore Tuna. You'll need two teaspoons of Goulden's uh, Spicy Brown Mustard. Um, this is actually the Market Pantry brand, but you can use Goulden's too. Um, you'll need some lemon juice, two tablespoons of mayo, Hellman's mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. Um, you'll need, if you have the Altmeister German Season Vinegar, you'll be needing about one tablespoon of that. But if you don't have this, it's okay. You can actually leave this out. I just like it in my pasta salad. Um, this is two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. One tablespoon of tomato paste. One can of corn. Uh, half a, actually this is one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar, salt and pepper. You'll need one Granny Smith apple half of a yellow bell pepper, one red bell pepper. You'll need um, some, this is probably, you're gonna use about half, actually one whole red onion and a half of the white onion. And then you're going to use one cucumber. Now this is a pretty large cucumber. So uh, you probably want about half of this, all right? So if you, have, if you have one small cucumber, that's what you'll need. And then also I'm gonna be using some bread sticks. This is um, artisan, artesian um, garlic bread sticks to go along with our pasta salad while we're eating. So if you wanna leave that out, you can leave that out too. It's not gonna be in the pasta salad, it's just a side. All right, so this is what we're going to make today. These are all the ingredients, I cannot wait to make this delicious tuna pasta salad. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start preparing our ingredients for our pasta salad. I already have the water. Um, it's getting ready to boil, so we're gonna add our pasta to that in just a few minutes. But we're gonna start uh, chopping up our ingredients for our pasta salad. So I'm gonna start with the uh, red bell peppers, or pepper, I should say. So if you noticed, I took the top and the bottom off and I kind of cleaned out the inside. And basically what you wanna do is just, you're going to chop and dice these up. So I like to just take little sections at a time and I'm just gonna chop those, kind of dice it up. Now if you see, if you have this um, thicker part in the middle of your pepper, hopefully you can see that. All you have to do is just kind of trim that off, all right? So you don't want those real thick parts, all right? And I'm just going to slice it long ways, and then I just dice it that way. Okay. So just chop it up. It's really important to have a sharp knife. This knife, I could tell, is getting a little dull. So I'm gonna get my sharper knife. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna continue dicing up my red peppers. Okay, so I have my red peppers all diced up. Now I'm gonna do my yellow pepper, same thing. Remember, we're only using a half of the yellow bell pepper. I cleaned it out, took out all the seeds, just like I did with the red pepper. And then you want to just dice it up, same thing. Just like we did with the, um, the red pepper. Gonna add it to the bowl too. 
That's what's so easy about this uh, pasta salad is just all you do is chop up these ingredients and we're just adding it to a bowl and it's just gonna be the, um, the sauce that's gonna take some work, but it's not gonna be that bad. In fact, it's actually kind of easy. <laughs> so this is a really easy, simple pasta salad and it is so yummy. Now I'm gonna work on the onions. Remember with the onions, you're going to need one whole red onion that we're gonna dice up very fine. And you're gonna use approximately quarter to a half of a white onion too. All right, so I'm gonna dice that up and add it to my bowl. My water is starting to boil. I'm gonna add a little salt. Probably about a tablespoon of salt to that boiling water. And then we're gonna add almost the entire box of the rotini, so it's about three-fourths of the box that we're going to add to the uh, boiling water. And then this cooks, just follow the directions on the box, which says it's uh, seven minutes. So only seven minutes to cook this pasta. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quickly um, with the apples. So you just, uh, after you peel, washed it, peeled it, and then sliced it, then we're just gonna do little cubes, okay? Little cubes of that one. So basically they should look like that, okay? I'm gonna put this in the bowl also. We will be transferring all these ingredients to a larger bowl once the pasta is done. And then we're gonna give it a good mix. So I'm gonna continue cutting up my apple. I already got my cucumber in there and the pasta is cooking. And so we're almost there. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all these ingredients and I'm just going to add it to this bigger bowl. That's the onions, that's the bell peppers, the cucumber, the apple. And I'm going to get some lemon juice and I'm just gonna sprinkle probably, I don't know, it comes to maybe, <laughs> it probably comes to about maybe a teaspoon of lemon juice, just sprinkle it in there, give it a nice toss. Mmm, looks so good already. Look at that. All right, and the pasta has only about four more minutes to cook and then we're going to let that cool before we add it to this. So now we're gonna make our dressing. Okay, so we're ready to make our sauce or dressing for our pasta salad. So basically, let's just start. We're gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil. Let me get my tablespoon here. This is extra virgin olive oil. One, two. We're going to need two tablespoons of the white wine vinegar. One, two. We're gonna need one tablespoon of the Altmeister uh, vinegar. This is seasoned vinegar. If you don't have this, like I said, you can leave this out. I just love that taste though. And we're going to use, this is two tablespoons of the soy sauce. I'm just using the um, Market Pantry brand. You can use any brand soy sauce you want. And then we're going to need uh, two teaspoons of the spicy brown mustard. So remember this is teaspoons now. One. I made a little heaping, it's okay. And then we need two tablespoons of the, of mayonnaise. Now I make this definitely heaping. So you want really large tablespoons. I just love mayo. <laughs> Let me put this over here. All right, so we used all these. Let's put the caps back on. I'm gonna use a little bit of, uh, actually we got the um, sugar. This is 
one teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna add a little salt and a little freshly ground pepper. And then I'm gonna give all that, I almost forgot my um, one, this is one tablespoon, I'll use this one, one tablespoon of, let's use this, one tablespoon of the uh, tomato paste. All right, and so now I'm going to whisk all that. arrange or assemble our pasta salad. Okay, so our very last step to do is to add uh, and assemble our pasta salad. So we're gonna add our pasta. We're just gonna add that to the bowl. Okay, so I'm mixing my pasta right now with all those vegetables and the apple. You want to give it a nice toss, a nice mix. All right, now we're going to add our corn. And don't forget to drain your corn. Make sure you drain the corn. And again, I'm going to toss that. Then I'm gonna last thing is to, well, second to last is to add the tuna and drain your tuna too. You wanna to make sure you drain your tuna, get most of that water out. Remember this was two cans of the albacore tuna. And again, just mix that. And then our last thing to add, we're going to add our delicious dressing or sauce. Just pour that on. Make sure you get every bit of that delectable sauce out of that bowl. Fantastic. I just love all the different colors. Of course, you want to probably chill this in the refrigerator for at least an hour. But I'm going to give it a taste test. <laughs> taste test.
good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Give it another toss. Another taste. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is really good, guys. Mmm. Super, super yummy, easy to do. I hope you try it out. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and like this video. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great day and a great rest of the week. Until next time, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.